Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to install your MySQL server on your Docker containers. Okay, let's start with it. So in your Docker, if you go into images, you see we have a image called CRUD image and we are going to host this in this container. So this CRUD image is a Java Spring Boot application, which we are going to containerize. So for that, we require a MySQL database. So and over here, just say docker pull and your database image name so it is mysql and we'll give it some time it will just install the mysql image so here you can see our images downloaded newer version of image mysql let us go to our docker and in the images you can see you have a mysql image over here so now we are going to run a container using this mysql image okay so for that we are going to say docker run hyphen p so we are going to do the port forwarding over here i will say forward it to 3307 which is by default 3306 in our docker environment so this 3307 will be used to access it in our local windows machine which we have and along with this we are going to specify the name of the container say mysql container and then you have to specify the root password say hyphen e and mysql root password equal to i will just set it to root itself okay and the username is also by default root and the database over here i'm going to say my sql database equal to uh, you can keep it anything let me just say students students yeah and then you have to give your image name that is my sql and just add a hyphen D over here so it will not be active in this CMD so it will keep running in the background yeah so you just open your docker and go to your containers you can see MySQL container is up and running and it is on localhost 3307 in your local machine if you want to access it okay so now let us go to our Spring Boot application in our IntelliJ and yeah so previously we were trying to deploy this application and we got an error that the mysql was not available so now we have created our mysql container over there so here in your application.properties file we need to make some changes so it will run on the local host as well and on the docker environment also so let me show you what changes have to be made over here put this in curly braces and say dollar and here we will have the variable name that is mysql host or the default value keep it as local host similarly for the port number as well say my sql port or by default keep it 3306 and similarly for the database name as well mysql db name and by default keep it to students and the username is root so we will give this if take it as mysql user or by default give it root and the password also we have given mysql i mean the password in the docker we have given it as root itself so we will be changing this in the runtime for docker and by default it is empty right so we'll leave it like that and the other things are okay that doesn't require any changes so just save this and now over here to connect this application to the mysql you need to create a network over here so let me show you say docker network create and your network name so let me say network mysql okay so this network is created now and now i need to connect the mysql container to this network 
so for that you have to run this command docker network connect and your network name that is network mysql this is my network name and my mysql container so the container name is mysql container okay so hit enter and yeah so this mysql container is mapped to this network now now you have to again create an image of your spring boot application because we have made some changes over here let us go to maven and clean okay done and i see a issue over here this is not mysql root let's say mysql password yeah install it again okay so it is done successfully you can see build success we'll close this and in your test you have your crud app.jar and where's our terminal now you can uh, build the image for this let me say uh, we already have an image i guess yeah so we need to remove the old image for this crud container i will just delete it first and the image as well okay and now let me say docker build hyphen t crud image dot okay i just misspelled the build over here it's docker build docker build hyphen t crud image so our image is created successfully now we are going to create a container for our spring boot application and we will be specifying the values for these mysql credentials as well okay so let me say docker run hyphen p and i will forward this to 8090 which is 8080 by default and I will give the name for this container as crud container and specify the network over here which we created hyphen hyphen net and the network which we have created over here let me show you this one you have right network mysql so say that hyphen hyphen net network mysql and then you have to specify the values for the mysql thing so over here i'll say hyphen e mysql host equals and for this the host you have to give the container name of your mysql so in your containers you have this right mysql container mysql container and then you have the port right so let's say hyphen e mysql port to 3306 and over here then you have the database name just mysql db name say mysql db name equals students so we had created this before right so you have this mysql db name is students and then you have the username say mysql user equals root and hyphen e mysql password equals root we created the password also as root and then you have to specify the image name of your spring boot so our spring boot image name was crud image yeah and then hit enter so you can see started crud application in this many seconds and the tomcat started on port 8080 so let us open our container and over here you can see both the containers are running and now let us test the crud container and this will be available on localhost 8090 so let me open my postman
so over here you can see localhost 8090 slash students let me hit enter and you see i've got an empty response because there is no data currently in our mysql database which is in our container so my local database over here you can see in my students tables student i am having one record over here but this is coming from your mysql container that is why you are not getting anything over here and now let us just insert one record over here say id equal to one user at gmail.com user and we have the other field is as roll number roll number we'll just verify it once yeah it is roll and or oh, not underscore yeah let us hit send and it is created let me create another user change it and say send okay created now let us go to the get api we've got the two users over here okay so our data is inserted in our mysql database of our container and you can check the other apis as well and that is also working over here so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to deploy our spring boot application into docker containers so thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you